Now about eight days after these sayings, Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep, but since they had stayed awake they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen, listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone, and they kept silent and in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. God of majesty, as we hear the story of the transfiguration, we see the glory and majesty with which Jesus shone, the pinnacle of your plan through all the law and prophets. And just like those first disciples, we are amazed. Through this time of Lent, this time for reflection and refocusing on you, each day may we see more of who you are, in all your glory, majesty, power and might. Challenge us to wait in your presence, to listen to you, learn from you and grow to be more like you. May we always remember those mountaintop experiences that show us you in all your glory. May we always remember you are the God of all the universe. May we always remember that you are the God who loves us and knows us completely. May we always remember it is your beautiful and majestic image in which we are made. In the glorious and wonderful name of Christ we pray. Amen.